Why are you smiling? <laughs> I know why you're smiling. <laughs> He's bad. We're going to Arches and I have never been there. We are taking this road right here that we've got <laughs> this amazing free camping spot on into Arches to avoid the crowds. We'll show you a secret way to get into Arches National Park and avoid the crowds I'm today. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.life. After Tom's truck struggled to pull our huge RV up this hill. You got this, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> we finally got settled into our new campsite. Well, we made it up here, boondocking, dry camping near Moab, and yeah, what a great spot. It's busy out here for sure, but we scored this spot up here that we have to ourselves right now, kind of on top of a little hill, and the views, I mean, are just great. Out this direction, you don't see any other RVs. This is kind of where a lot of people have packed in. Some of the smaller RVs are kind of more up against that, uh, that rock ledge over there. I guess get some protection from the wind because it's, as <laughs> my strap is going around. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunset here. It's great. Wind is dying down. It's starting to cool off. So yeah. Can't wait to see arches, canyon lands, do some jeeping out here. So much to do and see. Wow, what a gorgeous view. Can we just stay in this spot forever? <laughs> what well, are you excited about today? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> We are gonna go to Arches National Park today. We are gonna actually take this dirt road that we're boondocking on. It's kind of a secret dirt road and... Can I come down? <laughs> today, we're going to Arches National Park. Yeah, I am excited because it is my first time. That was so awkward. Why are you smiling? <laughs> I know why you're smiling. <laughs> He's bad. You are so excited to be doing what we're doing today, right? <laughs> yes, we are going. Where are we going again? <laughs> we're going to Arches, and I have never been there. And it's been ages since I've been there, so I don't rem remember a ton about it, but it's one of the most popular national parks in Utah. The other cool thing is we are taking this road right here that we've got this amazing free camping spot on into Arches to avoid the crowds. We'll show you a secret way to get into Arches National Park and avoid the crowds I'm today. I'm a little concerned about that after... After yesterday? After yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, if you haven't seen our Canyonlands video yet on how we went the back door into Canyonlands, you might want to check that out. This is not going to be like that. Okay. Whew. Yeah, <laughs> that was a little of a, yeah. Scary. Heart, heart racer. <laughs> scariest cheap ride yet. Yeah, so. I, I don't like stuff like that. So. <laughs> All right, shall we hit it? Yeah, let's do All right, do it. let's go. All right. Many 
When the old one's gone under the knife. Can you believe the cars? regular vehicles out here. I feel like we're struggling in a Jeep. Right, so it's a secret way to get in, but you gotta have an off-road vehicle because... It says four by four required, although we are seeing some street vehicles. Uh, yeah. I mean, take your own chances, whatever, <laughs> but we don't recommend it. Yeah, it's, it's more serious off-roading than we did even yesterday. Yeah. So. Yeah, and, but there's no drop-off cliff. So no drop-off. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I can feel on my skin Begin to thaw from within Ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> well, got a little bit of shade, a little cloudy, it's windy. Yeah, even though it's hot. You can't come to Arches and not do this. It's such an iconic arch here. It's what it's known for, so. The delicate arch. Yeah, and I got major FOMO thinking I was gonna miss it. So I decided I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah, like, it's like a straight up and straight down. Major yeah. elevation, three mile hike. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna hike up this rock here. You can see people in the distance over there. You see the ants up there? Yeah, they're like little ants. Shall we go join them? Yeah, let's join them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they could have made this a whole lot easier. Seriously, look at those people up there. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go way up there. Arches National Park contains the highest density of natural arches in the world, over 2,000 of them. These include the massive, red-hued, delicate arch in the east, the long, thin landscape arch in Devil's Garden to the north, and other geological formations like Balanced Rock, towering over the desert landscape in the middle of the park. Arches is the 17th most visited national park in the U.S. and is visited by 1.6 million people every year. You could spend over a week trying to see all there is to see at Arches National Park. We only have one day, so we are hiking to Delicate Arch today, one of the most popular sites to see in the park. So I said I wasn't going to be doing death-defying hikes anymore, but as I look forward, I'm starting to wonder what I'm doing up here. <laughs> yeah. And it's quite the hike up here. <laughs> Don't get so close to the edge. That's not it. <laughs> That's not it. It's a baby. Oh, there's a soundtrack. Is this the uh, custom arch mix we're playing? <laughs> <laughs> the arch mix. Ah, oh, nice. Hey. Yeah, beautiful. Money shot. I don't think it would have been that scary of a hike. If it wasn't just, so windy, it feels like a hundred miles wind, an hour. Yeah, it's going to pick you up and toss you off the edge Yeah, here. you <laughs> went time. down there. This is as close as I get. I didn't want to go down there. I'm not a fan yeah. of this wind and I'm not a fan of ledges. I've seen a few hats go flying and a I water, ball, too, yeah. water ball will go down to you the bottom. You almost lost my phone. You were holding it tight enough the wind grabbed it. Oh, oh my uh -oh. gosh, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Save Today. the sunglasses. <laughs> On our hike back down from Delicate Arch, we decided to take the trail to see the petroglyphs. The Ut Indian tribe carved these petroglyphs sometime between 1650 and 1850 AD. The stylized horse and rider surrounded by bighorn sheep and dog-like animals is typical of Ut Indian artwork. Close to the petroglyphs are the old ruins of Wolf Ranch. John Wesley Wolf settled here in 1898 with his oldest son, Fred. 
The Wolfs built a one-room cabin, a corral, and a small dam across Salt Wash, enough to support a few cattle. For more than a decade, they lived alone on the remote ranch. This is the fiery furnace. I guess it's named after the uh, kind of reddish tinge when the sun starts to set, makes it look like a furnace. It's not actually on fire or really hot. And you can actually hike back in here, but a permit is required. Nice how the red rocks are set up against the snow peaked mountains over there. Pretty cool. Dinosaur tracks here right outside of Arches National Park. You can kind of see how they walked up the hill. If it was a hill back then, I don't know. <laughs> right there, right there, right there. And the right way to celebrate exploring Arches National Park is grilling some steak. <sighs> Hard to see those. And a near full moon, you can see the campfires all around. Be sure to subscribe because coming up, we will take the Jeep on one of the scariest roads in the U.S., the White Rim Road into Canyonlands National Park.